welcome, yes, my friends. This is the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast, and I am your host, River Clues, and welcome to the podcast. This is number 26 in the podcast series. And I, 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 I have a podcast series, apparently, and I, I, I hope you're all just doing fantastic out there, as I am. And um, I got a really good one for you today. This is a gentleman... I know I say this often, but this particular artist, I've wanted the, the spotlight on the podcast ever since I've, I, I started this. And I'm very I'm pleased as punch that uh, that I've got him on here. And it, it's it's one of my favorite records of, of uh, Vintage Edmonton and Vintage Alberta LPs that I own. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. This gentleman's name is Jimmy Arthur Orge, and he is very well known. In the country music circles, and uh, certainly in Canada and Western Canada, he had a couple of big hits with uh, Irina Cheyenne and uh, Herschel's Semi Half Ton, which was a, a roadhouse country boot stomper. Uh, uh, I won't say lightweight, but lighthearted uh, country song. Gets uh, gets you dancing on the dance floor on the sawdust and all that. And then uh, very, very nice, uh, very, uh, very authentic authentically Western Canadian, I think. And um, this particular album that I'm going to spotlight is a great, great selection from his catalog. From 1968, there's a song called, or an album called The Country Soul of Jimmy Arthur Orge. And Jimmy, again, was a staple in the, the Edmonton music scene, really from the late 50s, early 60s, all the way up until the uh, the, the late 80s, early 90s. And, and uh you would have found him anywhere in, in central Alberta and southern Alberta and northern Alberta during the summertime playing those roadhouses and, 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 and community halls and places like that. And in, in the winter months in Edmonton where he lived uh, for the last half of his life, he was born in Donalda. And you would see him obviously playing in nightclubs and taverns and, uh, and the moose halls and the Masonic halls and places like that that uh, – that that Edmonton was you know literally had a, just a whole spate of back in the fifties and sixties, and uh, he he was the essence for me as a working collar blue blue collar uh, country musician and from that time, and and I love this album, uh, the country soul of Jimmy Arthur Orge, and this is a great again uh, representative of, of of what he sounded like back in the. Uh, the late late sixties, nineteen sixty eight. Uh, it's got a great autograph on it. Uh, again, I love these types of records. It says to Mabel, sincerely, Jimmy Arthur Ord. So Mabel, wherever you are out there, thank you for donating this record so I can find it. And uh, let's get right to it. My first song that I'm going to play here today is a a really uh, a, a peppy song. Uh, J- Jimmy Arthur Ord. He has a. Uh, a very much of a of a Hank Snow thing going on, but uh, this being the late sixties, where a lot of socially conscious songs were uh, really uh, starting to to bubble up because of those turbulent times in the late sixties. All genres uh, had these types of songs, and uh, country music certainly had its own. So this is a a, a a plea for love and a plea for harmony, and this is Jimmy Arthur Orge. With the very first song off of the country soul of Jimmy Arthur Orange is a song called Love for the Common People here in the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast. Living on free food tickets Water in the milk from the hole in the roof Where the rain came through What can we do? Mm -hmm. Tears from little sister Crying cause she doesn't have a dress Without a patch for the party to go Oh, but you know She'll get by Cause she is living in the love of a common people Smiles from the heart of a family man Daddy's gonna buy her a dream to cling to Mama's gonna love her just as much as she can As she can It's a good thing you don't have bus fare Or it'd fall through the hole in your 
pocket and you'd lose it in the snow on the ground Walking to town to find a job Trying to keep your hands warm But the holes in your shoe let the snow come through And it chills to the bone Boy, oh, you'd better go home Where it's warm, where you can live in the love Pride in the heart of the family man Daddy's gonna buy you a dream to cling to Mama's gonna love you just as much as she can And she can Living on dreams ain't easy But the closer the knit The tighter the fit And the chills stay away You take them in stride Family pride You know that faith is your foundation And with a whole lot of love and a warm conversation And plenty of prayer Making you strong where you belong Where you can live in the love of a common people Be the pride in the heart of a family man Daddy's gonna buy you a dream to cling to Mama's gonna love you just as much as she And she can Living in the love of the common people Smile from the heart of a family man Daddy's gonna buy you a dream Welcome back to the Video Chip with the Music Podcast. That was Jimmy Arthur Orge with a song called Love of the Common People off of the Country Soul LP from 1968 on the Point Record label. Again, zero credits. Unfortunately, like uh, so many of these records are from this time frame and from uh, you know specific labels like the Point Record label. If, and if you're a collector, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, there's nothing on here <laughs> as far as who where the credits are, who was playing other than Jimmy, obviously. Uh, I have no idea where it was recorded. Since Jimmy lived in Edmonton, pretty much most of his life, I'm going to assume it was recorded in one of the, the big studios, the big three studios here in Edmonton. So, um, you know, what can, what can you do anyway? But I, again, I love Jimmy's voice. It's uh, got that very deep, you know, very, uh, very deep timber, very per- perfectly made for country and, and, and folk music and uh, roadhouse country. Like this next song, I'm going to play for you a song called Does My Ring. Uh, the only one off the album that does not have songwriting credits on it. So I'm, I, again, have no idea <laughs> who wrote this song. But without further ado, I, I could smell the sawdust and the beer and the cigarettes, yes. And, you know, the the, the, the great Ukrainian food and Western food, uh, you know, that at, at some roadhouse in 1968 when I listen to songs like this. This is a great Great representative of that time. So without further ado, this is Jimmy Arthur Orge with a song called Does My Ring here on the Vintage Everton Music Podcast. Does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at night? When I bought it for you, darling. It seemed to be just right Should I take it to the jeweler So it won't fit so tight Does my ring hurt your finger When you go out at night Did you enjoy yourself last night, dear? How was the show? You know that I don't mind it when you go I understand sometimes we need some time alone But why do you always leave your ring at home? Does my ring hurt your finger? I'm so proud when you wear it For all the world to see Should I take it 
to the jeweler so it won't fit so tight does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at night does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at Welcome back to the Vintage Everton Music Podcast. That was Jimmy Arthur Orge with the song called Does My Ring off the Country Soul LP from 1968 on Point Records. Jimmy was, uh, again, he was just an amazing vocalist. He was voted uh, or nominated for the Junos in 1976, 1978, 1979 for Country Music Vocalist of the Year. He had the chops for it. And, um, uh, I can't say enough about it. It's got that gravitas that uh, that, 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 that I'd love anyway in, in, in country music. I could just see that the voice is kind of booming over the mic during you know these these, these uh, intense you know roadhouse country uh, sets that I'm sure that he played for you know whatever thirty four thirty five forty years. It's uh, it's got a very commanding you know kind of uh, timber to it. I love this next song. Uh, Song called Child of Clay. This is uh, again one of those socially conscious songs uh, of the era uh, of its time, and uh, Jimmy gives it a good reading. And um, I'm just going to shut up, let you listen to it. Without further ado, this is Jimmy Arthur Orge with a song called Child of Clay here on the Vintage Everton Music Podcast. Into the darkness he was sent by parents who were ignorant. Tied down to his mother's strings, unable to be anything. Puzzled by the things he hears, his questions fall on their deaf ears. And the father, thinking work comes first, ain't got the time to quench a thirst. No, 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 no. Once he was a child, a beautiful child, a child of clay. Shaped and molded in But who is to blame for this child of clay? And going out into the night, the answers he may find. The sick and twisted minds he shares, the searching questions his heart bears. And from the dregs the answers find their way into his supple mind. In time the planted seeds will grow into a twisted vine below. No, 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 no. Once he was a child, a beautiful child, a child of clay. Shaped and molded into what he is today Tell me who is to blame For this child of clay And now his endless days begin to drift into assorted sins And soon his despite turns to hate as the staff of life seals his fate. And so the night conceals his name, the day sleeps off his shame. Deprived of love and locked by fear, a feeling that the end is near. No, 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 no. Oh, once he was a child, a beautiful child, a child of play. Shaped and molded into what he is today. But 
who is to blame for this child of clay? Once he was a child, a beautiful child, a child of Welcome back to the Vintage Everton Music Podcast. That was Jimmy Arthur Orge with a song called Child of Clay off of the Country Soul LP on Point Records. Yes, Jimmy's music is available. Go on the internet. Go find it. It is on iTunes for sure, I'm pretty sure. And it's also on Amazon.com. Much, much better quality versions than the one here I play on the on the podcast. And he's got, he has quite an extensive collection uh, again, from the late fifties up until I believe the early nineties, if I'm not mistaken. And, and uh, again, it, he's he's a great artist. And if you really want to get a, an essence of a, what a, an Alberta roadhouse country or any kind of you know just western swing artist from that time frame and in, in, in Edmonton, which was a, a fertile ground for that type of music, what he sounds like and a great representation. Jimmy Arthur Orchard, the great representation of that. And uh, yeah, go out and check out his music. Go buy it if you can. I'm going to play this next song. It is my favorite Jimmy Arthur Orchard song. It, it's a song uh, from the late 60s that you can kind of pinpoint it from. It really started with a song type uh, the genre that came from uh, from from the late forties. Uh, Hank Williams Senior used to uh, record under a different name called Luke the Drifter, which we did, he did recitation records, which was uh, it's poems, things like that that he would recite in his Luke the Drifter voice over you know sad country type of background music, and uh, he had kind of a, a quite a second career in doing those types of records. Go check those out if you can find them also. The person who really, really made it into a phenomenon and a uniquely uh, country music kind of phenomenon, although it, was, it, it crossed all genres in the 50s and 60s, but the person who really shot it into the stratosphere was Red Sovine, who was not unlike Jimmy Arthur Orange, where he was a, a blue-collar musician. He played a lot of rockabilly-esque Roadhouse country type of music for a long time, and and you know had a, a nice career, but it wasn't uh, an overwhelming career. And then he started recording these types of songs, uh, and just became a, a, a superstar, not only in country music but around the world. And I, I, I love these types of records; uh, they're just fantastic. And Jimmy Arthur Orge contributes to the pantheon of recitation records uh, with this one called Drunken Driving, or Drunken Driver, I apologize, Drunken Driver. And uh, you'll see what I mean when I play it. <laughs> it's, again, it, I love these types of records. Jimmy does it justice. So without further ado, this is Jimmy Arthur Orge with a song called Drunken Driver, recitation, I should say, called Drunken Driver here on the Vintage Everton Music Podcast. Friends, there's something been haunting me, and I've just got to tell you about it. I saw an accident one day that would chill the heart of any man and teach them not to drink a drop while the steering wheel was in their hand. This awful accident occurred on the 20th day of May, and it caused two dear little children to be sleeping beneath the clay. These two little kids walked side by side along the state highway. Their poor old mother, she had died, and their daddy had run away. As they walked arm in arm, how sad their hearts would feel. When around the curve came a speeding car with a drunk man at the wheel. The drunk man saw the two little kids and hollered a drunken sound. Get out of the road, you little fools. But the car brought them down. The bumper struck the little girl, taking her life away. While the little boy in a tangled, busted mess in the ditch line lay. 
drunkard staggered from his car to see the damage he had done. And he let out a yell you could hear for miles when he recognized his own dying son. Such mourning from a drunken person I'd never heard before. While kneeling at the bumper of his car, he prayed to heaven's door, saying, God, God, forgive me for this awful crime I've done. And his attention then was called away by the words of his dying son. And he said, Daddy, why'd you do this to us? How come you run us to the ground? It was you and Mommy we were talking about when the car brought us down. And I was just telling little sister of how I knew we'd see you again someday. But why did it have to be like this? Why did it have to be this way? Why, Daddy? Why? Wasn't that awesome? That was Jimmy Arthur Orge with a song called Drunken Driver, written by Paul Westmoreland. And again, I, these types of songs were so prevalent in the, the 60s and, and the 70s, and especially in the country genre. I love these types of records. They're like candy to me. And, and Jimmy Arthur Orge gives it, uh, gives it a nice legacy, uh, a very admirable uh, uh, adding to this genre anyway. And, and it was a great way, well, at least for me anyway, it was a great way to end this LP. And, and again, you can find a lot of Jimmy Arthur Orger's music for download for sale on uh, the internet, I believe on iTunes, I believe on Amazon.com. You can find it, and, and it's really worth the effort to go find it and, and go buy it because he was a great, great Alberta artist from that era, from the 50s to the 80s, uh, truly representative of the country sound and, and well worth looking out. So thank you so much for Jimmy Arthur Orge for letting me uh, um, get a chance to, to listen to his music and to play his music here on the podcast. And that's it, folks. That's the end of the podcast. Before I go on to my usual ending spiel, I have to quickly e- answer an email, a strongly worded email. Yes, it's one of those ones. A strongly worded email from Graham in Edmonton who has asked me, I'm not going to read the letter. He essentially says, Rev, uh, why aren't you playing more rock music? Edmonton has a very, very rich and varied rock history. You should be playing more of that, sign Graham and Edmonton. And he's absolutely right. I'm going to rectify that. These few months coming up, I'm going to be playing uh, some more One Horse Blue, Mavis McCauley, and uh, also Dark Room, Jim Gray, the, the great, great new wave band from Edmonton in the 80s. Uh, just fantastic. And I'm um, going to be spotlighting them in the coming months, and I'm going to rectify that situation. You're absolutely right, Graham. So thank you so much for that strongly worded email. <laughs> Well, there was. Anyway, uh, you, you can find me on iTunes. You can uh, subscribe to me on iTunes. You can subscribe to me on TuneIn. You can subscribe to me on Google Play Music. You can subscribe to me on Podomatic, a lot of different places like that. I am going to have another side project coming up within the next month. I'm not sure if I'm going to go forward with this particular project other than one a one shot thing but we'll see what happens here it's going to be um i'll let you know next podcast and you'll find out about that so i hope you enjoy that without further ado i gotta get out of here so i hope you all do great i'll see you next time 